Okay, this is this is going to be a very complex how-to. Well, Valentine's Day is coming. Yes. It's a good time to talk about heart health or True. scratch that CPR. Yes. Is that what does that stand for? Cardiopulmonary resuscitation? Yes. Okay. Very good. Um we're not that knowledgeable, but we've been giving it a lot of thought mm -hmm. and we are going to take a class <clears throat> now it's really good to take a class so you know exactly very how to good. do it right don't listen to us assume we are idiots who know nothing <laughs> but uh we want to bring awareness to this and like i said we thought valentine's day is a good day to do that yeah now i've never taken a class you have in fact you've been certified Yes. Okay. I've taken two classes, but they've been years. It's been years. Okay. And I think that it's something where that if you don't do it all the time, you need to recertify, re-educate um, yourself every, probably every year or so. Okay. But with that being said, and w again, we recommend you get certified with that. But with that yes. being said, you can save a life even without being educated. Which you have done. Which I have done. Yes. I have saved not only a life, but my precious mother um, who, who died in my car. Um, and that quick story goes like this. Uh, had, we had situated her in an apartment building where she would be close by across the street. Right across the street. From, from our housing house. complex. Yeah. So it was uh, like two blocks away. So. Yeah. It was out of my neighborhood, across the main road that serviced that area. And then that was the driveway of that complex. Mm -hmm. So I took her out of my out of our driveway, turned down our little street, down the main street through our neighborhood, to that cross section. And I was talking to her, and she wasn't responding. And I turned, and I said, Ma. And I looked at her, and she was like this. Breathless, lifeless, and blue. Yeah. God, that's so And scary. I was in shock, and I looked at the, the street in front of me, and I looked both ways, and I floored it across. Just I was all on instinct then. Across that main road into her parking lot. It was later in the evening. Nobody, it was dark. Nobody was out there. Jumped out, ran around the car, the van, opened her door, released her seatbelt, and jerked her out, put her on the ground, and I started pumping her chest. There was no breath. I listened and, and I kept pumping and pumping. Mom, mom, mom. And I put my mouth over her mouth and held her nose. I knew she wasn't obstructed. I knew that her heart had stopped. And yeah. she started breathing. And, it, and I called the emergency services. Uh, they were pretty prompt. They came. The rest is history. But mm -hmm. my mother survived. Mm -hmm. For a while, I did, I did another interesting part of that story is I lived with guilt because I kind of felt like I should have let her go. The reason why is she had been suffering immeasurably. Yeah. With heart and lung problems. Yeah. And I thought, you know, she had finally was checking out and I thought, man, if I had let her go. But like on instinct, you just yeah. were like, live. That's my mom, live. live. And she said, I want to live. Yeah. That was the thing is my mother was fearful and she was fearful of death and I couldn't make that decision for her then and there. Yeah. I did, however, later have to make it. But that's that's a, those are other stories. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, I didn't have to be educated and it's kind of like we've all kinda, seen it in the movies. We've seen it in the movies. We've seen if you've seen emergency television shows like like reality shows, yeah. you've seen it. I mean it's basically massaging the heart back to beating yeah so in spite in spite of the uh somewhat humorous video of you and i <laughs> doing cpr on each other uh, uh, we, we did manage to save each other we did yeah we both, We're both came, still here we both came out of it but uh <laughs> although that's humorous to to see this is a serious matter we get that um but you so you you should get educated but if you're not and you have a problem don't get psyched out don't just freak do yeah it. call Which 911 or have somebody else did. i mean it just kind of your 
instinct takes over. Yes, on. have somebody call 911 for you, put it on speakerphone, they can, they can walk you through it in case you're doing it wrong or you just don't know how to do it, but it's just a matter of, uh, ultimately of pumping the chest. Compassion. It is surprisingly simple. However, you said, as you said, they complicate the heck out of it. They do. It, when you're in the class, it just seems a lot more complicated than well, it really is. Well, because there are things like the person could be obstructed. True. You don't know yeah. if it's a, a heart attack. That's the a completely different thing. Yeah, you tongue, check the make sure airway. the tongue's not yeah. Yeah. slipping back there. Yeah. So we should sometime, we should get certified in We're CPR, and then the Heimlich is where you just put your thumb. You, well, it's a you make certain fist, way you do and you it. You put like your you thumb do. between, I think it's halfway between the belly and the up and the bottom of the rib cage. Mm -hmm. And you I pull. I think it's the, this part of your hand that you use. Let me see. This part. And you just stand up. Pull. Oh, no, I, wish, I don't. I, I wish we had a ping pong. I, 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 no, no, I don't. And no, I, I don't. I think you make a, you make a fist like yeah, this and you put yeah, your thumb right know. in there. Oh, I don't know. And I'm not going to do it. Okay, good. Thank you. But then you say, <laughs> ma'am, are you ready for the Heimlich? <laughs> but we don't know so don't do that but if you don't if you feel like you have to well yeah if it's an emergency situation but if they're breathing or if they're coughing you don't do it right right because then if they're coughing that means they're breathing and what's the universal and if they can talk, what's the breathing. universal sign for uh choking choking it's hands yeah. that's that's what you, you say that's what you do if you neck. can't if you can't if your airway is blocked like, you're choking you just go <laughs> We were once on a plane. Oh yeah. And we heard we were looking down the aisles, just sitting there, and, and we saw the the flight attendant and she said, Sir. And we looked up, she was talking to a man in first class. She said, Sir, are you ready for the Heimlich? <laughs> and he went <laughs> Yes. He, he, she said, Stand up, and she got him up and she went, Pop, 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 and he <laughs> shot food up. Yeah. It was a big piece of meat, big yeah. chunk of meat. First class. Those people first in class, the damn baby. filet mignon. <laughs> we got bumped to first class you know, you, by you, accident. You take a <laughs> bite of the filet and a sip of the champagne. That's why yeah. they give you the bubbly. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> that sounds good. We, uh, we hope that you will consider getting educated. We hope that uh, you are lucky enough to save a life if need be. Yeah. And that life may be a, a precious family member. Mm -hmm. So... Look into it. It's at least, at least sure. remember that you can look online and see people who are much, much more knowledgeable than, <laughs> than we are. And hey, maybe someday we'll be so knowledgeable we'll teach a course. I would. I think that's great. Good. Anything like that that you can learn where you can so easily help a, yeah. uh, a, a victim who's who's dying. I think yeah. it's great. Yeah. All right, happy Valentine's Day to you all. Happy and Valentine's Day. We thank you for watching and be sure yeah. to like. And subscribe and also be sure to read the description and leave comments or read the comments for for further information and entertainment and edification <laughs> all right okay look at Good you job. you lived we lived yay <laughs>